Well, we have more proof that once again, the NFL world revolves around Jets hate. Well, hello, everybody. How you doing this fine, feathery day? This is Green Bean here to talk a little bit of Jets football with you. Before we get started, why don't you do yourself a favor? It feels really good to do it. Get the milk. I'm going. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right. Get the milk thumbs. That's the like button. Smash that there thing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't just yet. It's a wonderful, wonderful exercise in uh, service and uh, in betterment. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Uh, I appreciate it if you do it. I will also remind you about the great Testacil, giving you one free bottle of the all natural testosterone booster. $10 off your first bottle, but then. That's, if that's not good enough, they just throw in another free bottle for you, all because you're using the promo code GREENBEAN. Or better yet, make yourself an easy day and just click the link in the description of the video. That takes you right to it. The code will be in there. Gives you $10 off and a free bottle to try the all-natural testosterone booster, Testacil. Okay, guys. What do I mean? The NFL world revolves around the Jets. That's silly, is it? Is it the Jets? Let me just share something with you. Uh, let's do a little update, okay? The Jets, the New York Jets, have won seven games in 2023, seven games in 2022, four games in 2021, two games in 2020, seven games in 2019. What I, it goes on and on and on and on and on. Right? Four games here, those seven games or six games over there. And yet somehow they find a way to talk about us constantly. Whether it's when we sucked and we were looking like we were going to get the number one pick in the NFL draft, that they should change the drafting system so that young aspiring stars of the highest talent level shouldn't have to be subjected to the ordeal that is playing for a franchise like the New York Jets. They didn't say it about the Panthers. They didn't say it about the Jaguars. They didn't say it about all the teams that get the number one pick, which, by the way, the Jets haven't had since 1997. You're going to change the whole damn system just because so you don't play with this. This is the shit that we have to hear, right? So we'll bring it up to recent history. So last week... We're hearing all about Stevenson and the Patriots, and they, they beat the Bengals, who lost to the damn Commanders last night. The Bengals are in trouble. I mean, I, they're not out, but there's, they're, they're having a time right now, having a, having, a, having a day over there in Cincinnati. But the Patriots beat the Bengals. Everybody expected the Bengals to, to mop the floor with the Patriots. They beat them. Then they, they said, okay, well, that was a trap game. Week one, it happens. Teams aren't settled. And they go into the, into the Seattle Seahawks game, and everybody's like, well, Seattle's going to kick their, kick their ass. Seattle and the Patriots went into overtime. Now, the Patriots lost, but they gave them the fight of their lives. And again, overtime. So coming into the Jets, we get shellacked by the Niners on Monday Night Football in front of the world. Because the NFL, 7-9, and nine, just feels like sticking us on in front of the world. Remember, the, uh, uh, I'm not even going to get into that stat. I'll make another video on what I was just going to say. Then we go into Tennessee, and we win, but we look sloppy. See, they should have beat them better. Beat them more good before I'm on board with you and your shitty old man conspiracy theorist quarterback. That's, the, that's what So we didn't beat them well enough for their liking. And we go into the Patriots on Thursday night. And it was Stevenson. He's going to run all over the Jets. Jets can't stop the run. And, you know, Mayo's got the defense playing this and that. It's all we heard about. Now, granted, I think a lot of people, maybe even more, chose the Jets to win. But a lot of people didn't. And we heard all about it all week. We go in there. We completely annihilate them. And what is right on the heels? Well, it's a terrible team. So this is what we're hearing now. We got a, a guy who is, and this is where, this is going to fortify why I'm a grumpkin, okay? You guys know, I, I root with hate, okay? I root for the Jets and against everything else. There's a very rare occurrence where somebody's, 
you know, mother is sick and I want to see him do well. So she's happy. I mean, th that happens, but it's very rare. Like I root with hatred. I'm a grumpy, grumpy, v just vindictive fan. I root for the Jets and anything else I'm rooting for is against and that it benefits the Jets. That's it. That's all I root for. So this whole thing is going to support why I am the way I am. So you got Bill Belichick on the Pat McAfee show. Now I'll, I'll throw a bone here and, and I'll show you. I'm not a complete butthole. I have actually enjoyed some of his spots. I think it's, uh, I don't like Bill Belichick. I think he's one of the worst people in the world. Constant cheating. Shouldn't even be allowed to coach in the NFL. Yet he's never even been, been suspended a game. So like that kind of stuff. Cheating, uh, the napkin, just the, the, who he is, right? He's just a, a grumpy, a grumpy, gross old tyrant of a guy. So that aside, he's a great football coach, great football mind. And I've enjoyed the spots on McAfee. I haven't watched all of them, but there were a few I did. I was like, ah, this is interesting. You know, I think they have him on a little too long, maybe, but I like him. So uh, he's this past week, he's talking about Sam Darnold, which uh, everybody's the, the darling. He's three and zero again, which he was in Cal uh, Carolina the year that we traded him down there to the Panthers, to Matt Rule and the boys. We traded him down there. And don't forget, he had Christian McCaffrey, he had DJ Moore, he had Terrace Marshall, Robbie Anderson, uh, Arnold, the tight end, who's maybe not the greatest tight end, but he's solid, right? So he had a, a nice repertoire and a, and a defense, nasty, nasty defense uh, at the time. So he was 3-0. They beat us. Remember, they in their wisdom, they decide to make him, you know, his first game is against us. And that's good. That's good marketing. I get it. But we see him throw the bomb to Robbie Anderson, the whole thing. And everybody, all the Jets fans are rooting for Sam to do well because they didn't want to lose him. Like that kind of shit, which not me, dude. I'm a fan of the Jets. If you leave the Jets, I am not a fan of you. So that's the way that goes. Now, he, he's on Carolina for two years and they get rid of him. They, the whole organization, everybody's fired. First, they fired Joe Brady and keep Sam Darnold another year with a new offensive coordinator. And then they, they just they blow up the whole thing. And he's got to move on. Uh, and he goes to San Francisco with under Shanahan. You think, all right, well, that's good for Sammy. He's from California. He's got Shanahan, great offensive mind. But he's going to make it anywhere, right? So he, he's there for a year. I'm sure he learned a lot, but um, came in for a little bit. Didn't play all that well. If you look at the stat line, it's okay. Two, two, two touchdowns and, a, and a, an interception, but he also had a fumble, and that's not on there. Uh, but it's one of those things where it's like if you watched it, which I did, I happened to be watching that game. He looked, he, he looked good, and then he sammied it up. You know, so he did that kind of sloppy Sammy stuff. And they let him go. They don't want him back. Why wouldn't they want him back? You know, so they end up choosing, they, they, they sign Josh Dobbs and, and they're good. So Sammy goes to Minnesota knowing full well that Minnesota is going to use their top pick on a quarterback. They're in the quarterback market. They're taking one of these guys. They end up taking J.J. McCarthy and Sam immediately is the backup quarterback. That's the history up to this point. Now, J.J. Uh, McCarthy gets hurt and Sam gets put in the spotlight in the starting role, and he's doing fantastic. Truth is, we watched the whole game the other day, most of it together on a live stream, and he looks fantastic. He, he really does. Not perfect, but damn, he looks sharp. He looks good. He looks decisive. Not, not taking anything away from him. Now, there are people rooting for this guy to do well. Jets fans, they're putting all these posts. Sammy, Sammy, we should have kept him, blah, 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 blah. Remember, it's been it's seven years. Was, were you going to wait seven years for this guy to, to get it? No. So now we got Belichick out there on Pat McAfee saying the only team, the only people in the NFL who didn't know that Sam Darnold was the amazing Sam Darnold was the Jets. The Jets. It, it doesn't matter. Sam Darnold hasn't been here longer than he was, and it's still about the Jets. And this is why I hate that shit. This is why I don't root for anybody, because if we let somebody go and they're good, it's not just like, hey, man, he was a good guy. I'd like to see him do well. It's because we got to deal with the vitriol. We got to deal with all the stuff, the snickering, the pointing, and I'm done. I'm done being the butt of the joke. I'm, I'm sick of it. It's been too long. Clearly, I've been here a minute with this freaking white beard of mine. I've been here a minute. So let's listen to this butthole and see exactly uh, 
how he said it. He sounds like such a moron, and I'll deconstruct it for you quickly. Everybody has liked Arnold except the Jets. Um, you know, the, the people in Carolina that I talked to, they they really liked they loved him. him. Uh, he was, you know, at the Rams and not for very long. They the Rams. liked him. I think they want to re-sign him. You know, he was looking for more of an opportunity than to, to play behind Stafford. And then, uh, you know, I, I know that Kevin and, and some of the coaches in Minnesota, they really like this guy too. So, mm. uh, Yeah. Bill Belichick really, really digging deep here. The people that he knows loved him in Carolina. They let him go. They cut him and fired everybody. All right? So they didn't love him. Maybe the guys who got fired loved him. Okay? They're not there anymore. <laughs> So there's that. Then he goes on to, to it's one thing to say the wrong team, which he he clearly is talking about the Niners, I would say. I'm I'm gonna give that benefit of the doubt. But then he doubles down and he starts talking about he didn't want to play behind Stafford and like, like he knows shit and he's just digging the hole. He never played for the Rams. He didn't care about Stafford. He didn't care about any of that stuff. And nobody in Los Angeles liked him because he didn't go there. Okay, so there's that. That's a discount everything after that. But go, let's go on. You know, I, I know that Kevin and, and some of the coaches in Minnesota, they really like this guy too. Fair. So, uh, it seemed like the only people that didn't, didn't like Darnold were, were at the Jets. Yeah. So the only people that didn't like Darnold were the Jets. Although he was with the Jets the longest, we drafted him. He was here three years, Carolina two, San Francisco one, and now he's three games with the Minnesota Vikings. So who li- who didn't like him? Who didn't like him? Who gave him? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. His two coaching staffs. You know what I mean? Like he made it. Todd Bowles gets jettisoned. We keep Sam Darnold and Adam Gaze for two years. It's like we had him the longest. So again, this is why I don't root for anybody. That's not in a Jets uniform. It's not just about the people. It's about everything else. The more success that Sam Darnold has, the more bullshit we got to eat. If you love eating it, remember I talked about shit sandwiches a couple weeks back. Hey, man, make yourself a double. I don't care, but I'm not doing it. I'm not into it. And here's the other thing. By the way, if you didn't know, we got another solo game where we're the only game on in two weeks guess who we're playing sam donald you're gonna root for him then oh no i root for sam every game except for against the jet well i don't know how that works that's that that doesn't math to me you are or you aren't you're in or you're out you're pregnant or you're not you know what i'm saying uh with that all said have a great day everybody and go jets